I'm not salty, I'm smiling. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So do we have any recommendations for uh, next uh, our next volunteers that are probably red shirts? Hidden salt. <laughs> Salty, man. Trust me. In fact, I think I think that a lot of the time games are more entertaining when um, when you do fail. So, right? Because like if you just go through and you always win, it's boring, right? I think it's more fun when you lose some troops or you know you make mistakes or whatever. And like if you're watching this to like find high level like FTL play, like clearly that's uh <laughs> that you're doing you're on the wrong channel, I think. <laughs> um. Sure. Uh, ooh, I like, I like, let's have a female character. Um. Let's do McSalty. You want me to try a different ship? I can do a different ship. I only have a couple of them though, really. So I've got the Osprey. Um, I liked the Adjudicator a lot, actually. This one was pretty fun. I might try this one again, actually. Uh, Okay. Salt and chips. Okay. And then how about, uh, uh, let's see, what would, be, what would be a good one? Last one. Um, pepper? <laughs> pepper? <laughs> um, sure. Green chips. That sounds good. Tasty. So we've got the fancy Zoltan shield. <laughs> the McSalties. Uh, actually, you know what, Peppa? Peppa, you need to be dark, I think. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you want fries with that? Pretty much. Okay, um, let's do it. Okay, uh, I think McSaltison. Yeah, you definitely need to be our pilot. In the United States, uh, you mean like cut up potatoes that have salt on them? A lot of the time we call those fries or, or waffle fries depending on the uh, depending on the, the way it's cut. Let's see here. So, Peppa, I think you should be, yeah, like that. What is all this? Oh, thank you. <laughs> MLG Star Destroyer. <laughs> I'm just saying though, like, you know. Like, I feel like with XCOM I play it sort of like a medium good level and like, I feel like I'm pretty good at Massive Chalice and, you know, like, other games I'm just sort of, I'm pretty average, but I'm just messing around. Especially when it's a game I haven't, you know, I don't play very much, so. Okay, so we have our wonderful Halberd Beam of awesomeness. I'm gonna turn off our Med Bay. Um, and yeah, let's go weapons. Weapons hot. So, let's see, um, let's go south this time, southeast. Actually, I have to keep my eye on the time, guys, because I have to catch a bus in uh, less than an hour, actually, so I only, this will be my last mission. A rebel is guarding the beacon. Oh no! He wants to mess with us. Okay.
Man, that extra Zoltan shield is actually pretty handy. So does this make sense? So we have chips on the shields, and I like I like Peppa as the uh, weapons expert. I think that makes good sense. Um, so they want to give me a bunch of fuel. Hashtag dies for sector. That was only one time today, or maybe twice. <laughs> um. Let's let's accept their surrender this time. Actually, let's be good. Let's be uh, let's be merciful. Mm. And we got uh, yeah. We have a bunch of extra uh, a bunch of extra guys now. And let's defend again with the halberd beam. Watch Hitchhiker's Guide. The book's pretty good. The first one, at least. I, uh, I don't know if I've read all of them, but the first one's very good. More lasers! Yeah, I think that, that sounds about right. Yeah, it came out around five years ago. completely destroy all of his subsystems. So long and thanks for all the fish. So long and thanks for all the fish. Cool, we got some missiles. Because the, the movie starts with a musical number, kind of. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. The man surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. Marvin the Martian? Or he's the robot, isn't he? Isn't he the robot? I want to say he's the robot that they have. Nice. He just tore their engines apart. And this, starting with this halberd on this guy is kind of awesome, actually. Shoink. Anti-ship fire drone. Repeated attacks a small beam weapon that lights rooms on fire. Interesting. Yeah, he's the robot. Right. Mm. Let's go to this unvisited location. That sounds good. Oh, okay. Let's not go here. I'm gonna need another point on weapons, though, or the instant I hit double shield, I lose. Oh, yeah, that's true, because I, I won't be able to pierce through them. That's a good point. So, so the halberd does pierce. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks like it was fleeing a rebel advance and ran out of fuel. This distress beacon is activated, but you aren't sure if there's anyone aboard. Let's hail them. Ooh, hey. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Uh, yeah, let's trade some missiles for a bunch of fuel. That sounds good. And then I think one, two, three, four. I think we have enough time to do this. X damage minus one per shield. Okay, cool. Yes. I was worried that no one would respond. My usual carry is, is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier, but we'll surely tip you generously. Okay. Great. Um, I uploaded their location on your star map. I'm running out of options. Sounds good. Oh, hey. 
Perfect. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want the drone parts. I'll take the payment. Whew. Got all kinds of money now. Okay. Thank you for that brief intermission. We need to get our sensors back online here. Okay, there we go. I did rename the crew, so we've got uh, Mixaltis uh, Mixaltison, um, Chips, and Peppa. And let's return to our stations. Everyone was saying I was being salty for dying last game, although I don't know that that's necessarily true. So let's see. Um, Peppa, you were... Oh, that's right. No. Yeah, now back to your regularly scheduled show. Yeah, let's go to the exit. We got this, guys. Woohoo! Whoa. Um... I, I'm going to hold on to my stuff. I'm going to ignore them. Let's go, guys. So the options are rebel control or civilian. Um, I guess I'm going to go... Let's go civilian, actually. McSaltison? Yeah, um, Piggy, uh, I'll probably be streaming again in a few days, but, um, yeah, it's already 4.30, and so really I only have about another 10 or 15 minutes. I have to go catch a bus, unfortunately. That's what I said, McSaltison. Some kind of communist? Okay, so we've got some weapons here. I think it might be a good idea to grab a weapon. Except they're all bad. Stealth weapons prevents your weapons fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot while cloaked. That sounds amazing. If I had cloak. <laughs> Mixaltison, yeah. Mixalti son, you, you think that's how you should say it? I think you're incorrect. <laughs> you're a damn communist, what you gonna do? I'll boot you out of my stream, that's what I'm gonna do. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, creative missile design allows for two projectiles for the cost of one. Requ required power of three, though. Um... Hmm. Ah. I don't know that these are particularly great. I'm not a big missile guy. Hmm. It pierces shields though, which is good, I guess. It's 60. I I'd rather just have the extra power or the extra money at this point, guys. <laughs> we took your language and we did what we wanted with it. It's the American way. America. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to this distress signal. Actually, no. Let's go south. You spot a rebel ship nearby. It, doesn't, it, it seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. Demand surrender. We're trying to escape. Okay, sounds good. Let's go ahead and we are going to rock their world. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> oh. Burgers and chips. Oh, let's go. Whoa. 
turn our shields on. How about that? Nice. Come on, guys. Keep that up. Got to keep lasering them down. How's the British Empire doing? <laughs> go, go, go! Come on, one more strike. We got these guys. There it is. <laughs> The ship appears to have been transporting prisoners. Unfortunately, they were all killed in battle. You, uh, you salvage what you can. Shots fired. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I'm gonna grab an extra reactor and an extra um, power or an extra weapons, and then I think I think I'm gonna go level two shields. What do you guys think? Fifty. And then... Hey, laser hand, how are you? Because now I can do two levels of shield. I like that. Get a little bit more defensive. And I can also power up my missile if I need to. Uh, you've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as though we were fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure if anyone's on board. Let's hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a slug ship um, uh, jumps into the system. It was hunting the refugee ship for, for sport, and then now they found you instead. Oh no! Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go full bore on this guy here. Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go across. Hmm. Okay, that'll be fine. It's not about owning islands, though. It's about, you know, political oomph and atomic weapons, if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, you know what, guys? I'm going to get the, uh, the sensors and the... The, the sensors next, I think. I found that really helpful that um, a couple games ago. I like that a lot. Whew, missed. Same type of deal. Uh oh. Don't hit me, bro. Bye, Slug Light Surveyor. It's been nice knowing you. Been playing the game, you're just a beginner, you got the scavenger, and that's it. Yeah, I've only, I think I've had maybe 10 hours in this game, and a little bit today, also. Contact the refugee ship. Oh, hey. The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer you supplies they can spare. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and grab the um, extra sensors, I think. I like them a lot. And now... I think I can only do one more battle, guys. I'm sorry. I have to go catch a bus in like half an hour. And it takes me like 15 minutes or 20 minutes to walk to get to the bus stop so uh, let's do one more and then I'm gonna have to call out I'm sorry uh, let's go here you arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously, clo dangerously close to a star an automated rebel ship impervious to heat moves in to engage that's not good oh, um Let's go hacking instead and missiles. 
Yeah, normally I would be playing this late, and I'd actually play a little later. It's just unfortunately, um, yeah, I have to. I'm gonna go hang out with my brother and uh, go hang out with my my new niece. She's about, um, I guess, a month and a half old now. So, and I'm about to get lit on fire, aren't I? Oh no, not my O2. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. We British invented time? Well, oh, that's true. Maybe time can be in systems. I don't know about time itself. Get on an iPad and play everywhere. Hmm. Could do that. I wouldn't be able to stream it then, I don't think, though. Yeah, let's... Okay, whoa, nice. That was a huge amount of stuff. We just need to get this oxygen going um, as quickly as possible. Gotta get in there. Hover play with no mercy, you disable the shields and choke the enemies to death. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to uh, do some more of that, mostly just because um, uh, now that I have the uh, I can I have the scanner so I can see where the enemy crew are, I can do some of that, because if you... Oh no, what, really? Once you can see where they are... Um, yeah. Uh, once you see where they are, it's nice because you can target the crew specifically, and or see if, how badly they're doing. Oh, guys, really? That was a mistake. Um, let's go there. Interesting choices. Let's turn off my shield to get my oxygen flowing. You're excited to choke the enemy to death? Okay, really? Like, is it that much better or worse than blowing up their ship and having them asphyxiate in, in space. I mean, I don't know that it's any better or worse, right? And the enemy is still dead, and... I guess the, the sad being sadistic about it might change, but... I mean, at the end of the day, they're still... Gone. Okay. There we go. So you're out of the picture. Now we just have to figure out what to do with um, the rest of our crew here. Let's see. We're not going to need you powered. Let's get our whole crew, actually, and see if we can take out the fires or repair our engine. Yay, engines. Okay, everyone, return to your positions. 